So now we're going to continue on here and suppose M and C represent uh, the position number of a letter in the alphabet and M represents the original number in the message and C is the code. So I'm going to write that down here. This is the original and here this is the code. So if we have letters in the message, if you remember, I had it is spring. So I'm going to put I and then T. I already put I. I'm going to write that with that so you can tell it's an I. So I'm going to put S and then P. Now, in mine, we have to put the uh, original letter. So I'm going to go back here and look at what spot in the alphabet is it. So... If I did it, we have, this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So here I would put the original one for I is nine. And then here, if I did T, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then I'm going to go back for S and then P. So if we look at, well, what letter is S in the alphabet? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then I'm going to put P. So again, just counting over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I'm crossing those out and putting them, the numbers in. Now I'm going to go back and look at, well, what letter in the, in the code were those? So it was C and M. So the I was C and the N. And then we have to look up S and then also P. So S gave us M, and P gave us J. So now we have to go back and look at, well, what number is that in our code? So I'm looking up C. So here we look at what number is C at. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so what we're going to do is see, well, what number is C in the alphabet? So here we have one, two, three. And we're going to look up T. Or I'm sorry, we're going to look up N in the alphabet, the original. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we're going to look up, well, what letter is M? 
So again, just counting over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we're going to look up, well, what letter, what letter number corresponds to J? So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, what we have to do is write an equation um, with M and C that can be used to encode an original message uh, into your secret code. So if you look, if the code numbers, if this were just put as a list of numbers, we want R's to give us the original. So we want our M number to be the output. So if I took my original number, well, how would I make my original number from the code number? So if I'm looking at these numbers, if I take the code number, how can I turn it into the original number? Well, I'm looking, if I take 10 and add 6, that makes 16. 16. If I take 13 and add 6, that makes 19. If I take 14 and add 6, that makes 20. If I take 3 and add 6, that makes 9. So if I take the code number and add 6, that makes the number of my message. So now, can I write an equation that could decode your secret code into the original message? Well, actually, this is, this is wrong. So here, the original message would be your coded number plus six. So this part, would be your message is your coded number plus six. So here, this gives us the message from the code. So my input here is my message number and my, or my code number, my output is a message number. So for this one, if I wanted uh, the code number, we have to figure out, well, what would I do to my message number to make them equal? Well, if I started with my message number and I wanted to work backwards to the code number, I would take my message number and how do I get from nine to three? Well, I would subtract six. And that works for the other ones, 20 minus six is 14 and so on. So my coded number is the message number minus six.